is the topic and we have discussed that in the gene modification one thing is what we are doing is the defective gene is modified and make it render it functionally normal so the patient with the genetic disorder will be treated for the purpose we are going to um, take the isolation of the dna uh, dna of the genomic dna which is present in the patient which is uh, having a defect so construction of the gene libraries and ident identification of the gene so what is this uh, step which we are going to have it say for example if person with a night blindness or hemophilia or any um, uh, alzheimer's disease or parkinson so anything which the patient is present then we are going to isolate and sequence the gn uh, dna seg segmentation of it present and a normal human being the dna is already present in the genomic library which is available to the public free of cost and we need to compare these two and where uh, it is actually a defect is there already there are some databases are present so what are the defective genes which causes uh, a particular disease which is already been proved long back so it is uh, confirmed now and we uh, the step it will give where the defected gene sometimes what will happen even one uh, nitrogenous base uh, replaced with other it may cause the defect if it is got uh, changed then it will have a characteristic change say for example it has been proved that a small segment in the nucleic acid which is, which will change the color of uh, our mice to uh, white to black a simple nucleic acid one day one one uh, change so this much effect will be there so once it is identified which is having a specific segment which causes the problem then we are going to have three approaches one is gene replacement so depending upon what extent that uh, mutation has occurred so removal of the mutant gene sequence from the host genome and it is replaced with normal functional gene it is completely it is been done without having anything repair so it is uh, completely replaced so it is actually uh, um, used for the disorder marked by the deficiency of the enzyme and the protein so that will be used to replace the entire gene uh, in a particular case so whether it is uh, having a malfunction completely and it is instead of correcting it replacement is the better to treat the disease of an individual this is this one is uh, going to be the working another one is the gene correction in the gene correction what will happen it involves only defective portion of the mutant gene which is altered so this is what uh, uh, done uh, without uh, touching the remaining one to provide the functional gene without to precisely changing the gene backup that is back to its natural form so um it will be functioning that one is same only corrected portion uh, defective portion is corrected by altering it and the another one is the gene augmentation in this particular case expression of the mutant gene um, is defective gene that is actually modified by introducing the normal genetic uh, uh, sequence into the human genome without altering the defective gene only which is uh, having the host genome which is present so the expression of the mutant gene is a defective gene it is marked by introducing normal genetic sequence which is having so where it is having just like your uh, correct uh, correction in which the particular portion is present so the mutant gene portion which is uh, getting corrected here and uh, here we are uh, what we are seeing uh, the technology called we have informed that uh, crispr cas technology that is going to make this uh, defective one and um, here we are not going to alter entire thing uh, like what we have done in the first case of scenario so in the augmentation what will happen there will be one shutting of the gene will be present means uh, genetic material is present but it got shut shut down means um, um, there is um, a mutation that causes the shutdown of that particular gene so we need to make that again a switch on like so that that uh, gene expression will be again revived there is sometimes what will happen over expression will be there over expression means the mutant gene is producing than what we require here what will happen the entire genome is same 
in the first case and the second case one manasik is not working and somewhere it is overworking in that case we need to have without changing the original genome we need to have a a mechanism to alter its performance this is actually what uh, is required most of the times uh, uh, these uh, materials like uh, pollution and uh, making uh, exposure to the longer uh, radiations so that may have the effect on this particular uh, either shutting down and the augmentation so it can be corrected in those cases without touching the back backbone is perfectly all right human normal backbone of the gene and uh, once that is known and the corrected procedure whether to um, making a gene corrected or replaced or augmented by giving a, another one which to make it on off mechanism gene is switched on or switched off such mechanisms we have seen depending upon the what modification we need to do depending on the patient's disease and we need to find out what uh, uh, is the segment which is actually a faulty then we need to decide transfer method of the particular corrected gene into the disease uh, uh, disease person that is the host so how to do it so we have seen that there are three methods one is uh, physical and chemical and biological method and in the physical method we have got uh, one step is called as electroporation so electroporation is the one where we are using electric current to make a, a specific uh, uh, porosity into the cell membrane so it is you do think that it should not like a, a porosity which is having a higher electric current which cause the electroporation so it is uh, lesser that uh, it is uh, having um, current which is in the field 5 milliamperes or lesser than that so which we are going to have a short electric impulses only and a specific strength is applied it is very much critical otherwise the cell death will be taking place and it creates what will happen when it is been applied it creates the holes in the cell membrane so in that holes the bigger molecule like a dna that is having a lot of the nucleic acid sequences so the pure uh, foreign dna in the suspension can enter through uh, inside the cell by through this pore what is the advantage is it is very simple and technically easy that is uh, one but the problem is there is no specificity through the pore anything may enter even not on the dna of a specific what we are thinking another dm dna fragments and another material will also chances to enter because pore is not created it is a reason high risk of contamination that is very uh, risky uh, when we are touching to the um, genetic material like uh, targets so this is actually what the disadvantage is for the purpose uh, we are going to have a another more modification in the physical uh, uh, method is micro injection so this is actually what uh, their regular injection what you are seeing in the similar that it is in the very smaller in the sense it is having a smaller it is also containing a syringe and the needle in this particular case a process of using a glass micro pipette so to insert the microscopic uh, substances is being used so it is performed under the specific um, specialized optical microscope because the transparency of this it will appear to be uh, safer to see not like a regular metallic uh, micro pipette so which you are having it is called as a micro manipulator so very fine glass capillaries are used for the injecting the dna directly into the nucleus of the target cell so here it is actually what we are going to use they specifically taking that target cell as the cell is not visible because we are using the microscope and we are taking the material which is required to be inserted we are using the micro uh, pipette like device to introduce into the nucleus it is highly efficient when compared to your uh, uh, electroporation because we are going to increase the Uh, reaching of this particular nuclear site precisely because we are doing it precisely so we can do it disadvantage is only limited number of the cell can be transferred at a time because we need to attack one cell then we need to take the syringe and we need to insert anywhere again we need to do the same procedure parallelly it will not be possible so it is actually one other more defect in this particular case so in the physical methods we have got both electroporation 
and micro injection, which has got uh, these particular uh, advantages and disadvantages. The third method is gene gun. That is actually a physical method of uh, gene therapy when you are uh, having a transfer of gene to the nucleus. So what this gene can employ as a high pressure device. It is there is no needle here. It employs the high pressure delivery system to shoot the tissue with the gold and tungsten particles that are coated with the DNA. So we are not going to use any needle here. So we are coating these uh, gold and uh, tungsten particles and uh, that is coated with the DNA. It is simple and ideal for the gene mediated immunization and simple for the large scale application, not like uh, previously it is there. It has got both the specificity of inserting DNA at the same time multiple cell cells can be attacked by placing the gold nan nanoparticles which are coated with the DNA in a vicinity of the cells and we can do this particular transfer by using the gene gun by application of the parasite delivery system. So this is actually a third approach which can be done to insert the correct gene or you want to make it a transfer of a genetic material into the site of nucleus. So we are having the chemical methods. In the chemical methods what uh, is being done is a naked DNA injection. So we have seen that we are our DNA is protected with uh, lipoproteins and the sheath will be present that lipids so that uh, is not there in the naked DNA, that protection will not be there. So DNA is uh, to introduce into the cell by using the chemicals See here, without using any physical method, we, it is being used as a, um, by using function of chemicals. For example, calcium chloride and, and DNA solution and phosphate buffer uh, saline, so that is uh, calcium phosphate buffer, DNA gets entrapped with PPT cells take up the DNA and it will be going to enter. So this is actually a combination of a chemical which can be introduced. So these uh, inorganic chemical entrap the uh, DNA and take up to the uh, site. There is another method is uh, liposomal mediated. The top one is actually, uh, it is actually inorganic based chemical. And the bottom one which we are going to have the second method is the lipo, liposome mediated. This is actually what we are going to have is a organic based. Here we are having a um, lipoprotein bilayer. We have already seen liposome as a drug delivery system in that the foreign DNA is incorporated into the liposomes by the sonification of the lipid solution and the DNA in the either and delivery a variety of the molecules into uh, including the DNA into the cells. Basic advantage is the protection of the DNA from the nucleus and uh, uh, non-toxic nature because of its uh, having a similarity to the body, it is good. And um, this one is uh, one of the uh, chemical methods which we can use it both. It is like a chemical method by the organic means and inorganic means. In the organic means, we are using the um, calcium salts and buffer solution to make the DNA getting precipitated and trapped in that we are going to insert it another one is liposomes the third one is biological methods in the biological methods we have got two methods we have already seen uh, previously also but in this ginger in the uh, when you are having a gene transfer we have got there are two types of uh, things which we already seen one is non-viral gene transfer non-viral vector gene transfer and viral mediated gene transfer it means with the use of virus and without use of virus. So here we need to introduce uh, these common tools uh, for a foreign gene into the host gum cells. So there are two terminology which is difficult, uh, um, widely used. Is one is the transfection, another one is the transduction. Don't get confused with the transcription and the translation, both we have seen previously. So that you know, now it is actually Transfection is the process of introducing the nucleic acid into the cell by the non-viral method that called as a transfection. Whenever we are calling it the transfection means we have to think that it is a non-viral gene transfer only where we are not using a J viral vector. It may be an inorganic and organic like liposomes like that we are using. So any non-viral vector whether it is a physical method like a gene gun or anything which is having a gene transfer. Transfection. 
whereas viral mediated gene transfer is the transduction so transduction is the process where the foreign dna is introduced into the another cell via a viral cell so this is actually uh, what is the biological method of transferring the gene so modification of the gene and transferring the gene so what are the target cell where we need to do we need to have a specificity to uh, insert in the targeting because in the first unit we have seen the targeting so what are the target cell because we are introducing this into the cell which is not a target it is not having any work we need to make the modification in the target only so what are the target cell for this gene therapy so that is the biggest thing we need to find out accordingly we need to have an approach what is there so we cannot have the micro needle uh, uh, like approach uh, for the cells which are deeper in nature it is not possible so certain problem is there it in the xyo fertilization outside the one which can be done so so these are all the depending upon the what target cell we have got in the gene therapy we can select what the approach is there so the one is the hemopoietic cells it is the most consistent target for the gene therapy has a strong potential one thing another one is the hepatocytes attractive target for the gene therapy liver plays a vital role in the most of the metabolic processes and malfunctions which can be made so it will be used and the third gene target is the muscle cell it has also got the greater potential as an efficient target organ for the correlation of the intrinsic muscle and the non muscle tissues most of the times uh, uh, muscular tissues and non muscular tissues when uh, diseases non muscular diseases so it may be um, having um, cases of a muscular in nature that is the muscle mass which is present exterior the physical muscle mass which is having a non muscular this is actually a pain related or anything so another one is which you are having a nervous cells or blood gene therapy used to treat the type 1 diabetes this is actually um, uh, what the definite uh, target to have a disease treatment so in this particular case what are the diseases which can be used by the gene therapy most of the time that will be asked in the examination after the approaches are over so you are going to have a question so what are the diseases which are treated by this uh, gene therapy the first one that is actually which is been made in a lot of attempt is the type 1 diabetes so in this particular case first the gene was cloned under the l type pyruvate kinase promoter which regulates the expression of um, synthesis in response to the glucose uh, level so what is this uh, one which is having the specific uh, uh, material so this lpk sign si a gene was then attached to the recombinant adenosite virus so this is actually a specific uh, gene which is required this is already been uh, studied so in this particular case we are using adeno associated virus so integrated into the post chromosome and dna we have already seen there are four different types of viral vectors herpes simplex adenovirus associated adenovirus so these are all the things which were retrovirus we have seen in this particular case lpk si gene which is uh, attached uh, so attached to the recombinant recombinant means it is specially made to shoot the our uh, targeting gene transfer purpose and integrated into the genomic cell by making this particular gene how this particular one uh, uh, the gene which is having the expression of this particular gene so that will be done by the modification outside only by using the vector and introducing that into the post dna after insertion so this uh, recombinant uh, uh, lpk gene the rats has displayed a drop in the glucose levels that reached the range of a normal uh, uh, normal glycemia within one week of the treatment this is the first which has been uh, done as successfully in the rats so it can be used for, for the treatment of the gene therapy in the type 1 diabetes which has been proved so this recombinant adenovirus lpk si gene which is uh, uh, has been introduced successfully uh, for the rats so which can be used for the treatment in the human genome 
uh, treatments also as provided the way and the thought process to have. So the rates uh, remained the rates remained in the range of the more than the uh, eight months. In addition to the eight months of the controlled glucose levels, there were no visible side effects from the gene therapy, which was observed. While the results did not show the permanent remission, the control of glucose levels from the insertion of SIA gene was promising. It was uh, found promising without any much problem because of uh, as an expectation, which is a uh, gene mutilation has been done. Then second one, which has been given an attempt uh, is in the treatment of the cancer. So these are all the things, specific techniques which are available. There are uh, certain companies and they are uh, making just like pharmaceutical industry. We have got a different uh, companies. They are doing a production of the drugs. They are uh, having certain uh, startups which have come to have this particular treatment specifically done actually individ individually a patient specific. But nowadays it has been uh, come to the uh, this particular one uh, definitely to a level of uh, a lack like that it has been come to that come down to that particular stage to have this particular uh, transfer of the gene mechanisms and gene approaches affordable now previously it is not like that so primitively it is studied in the primitive animal only then it has come to the uh, range of human being so most of the times in the gene uh, therapy for the cancer treatment oncogenic inactivation you may be thinking that why it is not being implemented there are some issues and uh, that has to be confirmed and year by future it may be having a particular therapy it will be having a as a most common it will it may become instead of having a remaining treatment so the gene therapy for the current treatment oncogene inactivation it is done by using the antisense therapy so this uh, antisense uh, genes which are having nothing to do with your genome genome will be specific but it is having a templates which are made according to the need of your therapy that is actually a specific segment which is having a therapy that will be used reduces the expression of the antigenic proteins and responsible for the malignancies so that is actually what uh, uh, you are going to have a oncogenic Ancogene uh, inactivation that the gene it will be stopping its uh, power synthesis because the protein production is stopped. This is one approach. The cell targeted suicide in this particular case, uh, this uh, herpes simplex virus 1 thymidine kinase is given in combination with the gancyclovir. So, this is a chemical compound which is a drug moiety, it is not like a protein like that, it is uh, causes the power production of the thymidine kinase. So this uh, HSV thiamine kin kinase helps in the proliferation of the phosphorylation of the GAN cyclovir that will be having an effect in the cell targeted suicide. It will cause the death of that particular cell and the cancer cell is specifically getting killed by having this. In this particular uh, portion, the phosphorylation which will not be having uh, in another cells. So this thymidine kinase of the cancer cell, which is having um, a combination with the gan uh, cyclovir are having a specificity because of that one, which are going to have a cell targeted suicide. It is making the cell to by die, dying itself by having a phosphorylation of the gan cyclovir. This is actually the strategy which is specificity which is being having. The third disease because you will be asked around five five marks or ten marks questions in the exam also you need to write and each treatment will have a different approaches we are going to see them in a little bit later uh, now we are having a brief of this and not only one approach which is being discussed now it will be having a plenty of uh, uh, approaches have been done and the literature reported a lot of uh, studies in the they are in the in clinical side also so the third one is Gene therapy reduces the Parkinsonism, Parkinson's disease. This is the one which is uh, also been uh, done with uh, some success. In this particular case, it is significantly improved the weakness of the symptoms such as the tremor and motor skill problems after say, having this particular therapy got induced. The subthalamic nucleus should be introduced with the gene that produces the GABA, gamma amino. Benzoic acid. 
an inhibitory chemical, then it could be potentially quite that brain region and alleviate the tremors. So this is actually what uh, this uh, therapy includes. So it is done with local anesthesia only. It is not with the general anesthesia. It is simple local anesthesia and used as a harmless inactive virus, adeno associated virus to that is uh, uh, been given and deliver the gamma inhibitory moiety that is the uh, GAD gene that is uh, into the patient subthalamic nucleus. The gene instructs the uh, cells to begin making the GABA that will introduce and neurotransmitted to re-establish the normal function balance that becomes the dysfunctional as the diseases progresses and it will bring the normalcy. By doing that normalcy, TTs will be treated. Another gene therapy as a treatment for the exit. SCIDs affected children are born with uh, this specific disease with the affective immune system which uh, succumb the, to the in infections just like uh, uh, it is uh, multiple infections. The gene code for the enzyme is adenosine deaminase that is uh, also called as ADA, so ADA. So the therapeutic gene called uh, ADA was introduced into the bone marrow cells of such patients in the laboratory followed by the transplantation of the genetically corrected cells back to the same patient. So this is actually uh, being done to improve the immunity. So deoxyadenosine is an uh, intermediate product formed during the breakdown and synthesis of the DNA. So this uh, ADA, it bonds the deoxyadenosine and convert into deoxyadenosin. So that is non-toxic. So that is uh, making a treatment in the enhances of the immune system. Another disease which is being used for the uh, gene therapy is the cystic fibrosis. In the patient cystic fibrosis, the patient with the cystic for a protein called as a cystic fibrosis transmembrane regulator, CFTR, is absent due to the gene defect. So the specific regulator protein that is the cystic fibrosis transmembrane regulator so it, it should be present, uh, then the disease will be treated. In the absence of the TFR chloride ions, concentrate within the cells and it draws the water from the surroundings and this leads to the accumulation of the stickus mucus uh, uh, in the respiratory tract and the lung and it is treated by MIO replacement of the defective gene by the adenovirus vector of this particular gene and it can be used in the treatment of the cystic fibrosis. So the vector used is the adenoviruses which will be used. And we have already seen um, you, know, you will be having a different uh, uh, treatments which are available in the gene therapy and uh, which have been done with varied success but uh, the, the success stories which is presented there in this particular uh, previous section so like whether it is ranging from the Parkinson, diabetes and uh, cancer fiber could be exceeded. So this is uh, one, you will be having a, a greater success. It means that um, it will be directly used a uh, plenty of population. It is a greater skill is required and costly affair and uh, that has made the less utilization of such uh, inventions and uh, utilization in the common public regularly. But the recent trend, if you see it, this has opened a new avenue. You will be asked in the question, what are the re recent trends in the gene therapy? So that will be uh, giving an eye opener and you are going to have an important question, what are the recent? That is the futuristic approaches, what the future will be? So that is the question you will be asked. Now we are going to have in the gene therapy, what is that uh, a new one which has changed dramatically or the gene alteration methods, modification and transfer methods, everything made very easy and uh, very cheaper and highly precise. So this is actually what uh, we are going to see is, we are uh, talking about previously, we will see later, that is actually called as a CRISPR technology. This is C-R-I-S-P-R technology. This is actually what is in associated with a CAS9 enzyme and CAS13 enzymes. There are so many uh, enzymes are available. So, but particular, um, 
types are used for this particular gene therapy which is required for the gene modification and gene uh, corrections so what is this uh, crispr technology if you see what is this crispr the expanded form of the crispr is clustered regularly interspaced short palindromic repeat I, I, I hope you know the, what is the palindrome means. Do you know what is the palindrome? If anybody unmute yourself and say, what is palindrome? Anybody sir, have an idea? The uh, same, sir. Yeah, exactly. So we are having this two sides same. It means if you reverse also, it will be having the same. This is actually the palindrome means uh, you have got uh, 1, 2, 3, 2, 1, kitty key. So you have got uh, uh, such a uh, one which you are having both sides. If you are shifting it, it will be the same. It is uh, the same. In the, we know that in the genes also, we have got uh, base pairs which are having adenine, thymine, gynine, cytosine. So the sequences are present. They will be arranged in a particular segment in the particular places in the genes as a palindromes. So the segments, if you see it, it is particularly, it will be very appearing. If you go read this side and that side also, it will be the same only. This is actually the sequence, it will be present within the genome to detect and it will be traced because of the palindrome portions of the gene. This is actually what the CRISPR uses. In the genome project, human genome, and any genome, we have got such a palindromic zones in our genes. So that is used to detect a particular portions and memorize it. So what the particular gene is, so where that it is having a specificity, we want to have it because of these palindromic regions. These are all the regularly interspaced. It is having a segment which is having some portion which is have got a specific portion, uh, function. After that, you have got a palindrome repeat so like that. It is inserted with a specific. That specific one which has got a specific function may be getting damaged. But the palindrome is not getting damaged. So it is present. It is used to detect the particular site of the portion of the gene. It is present. But the internal spaces where we have got a specific gene that is responsible, so they are already uh, found. So actually, the journey has started with uh, bacteria only that has made a lot of uh, uh, journey which has been gone further. These sequences are derived from the DNA fragments of the bacteriophages that had previously infected with the prokaryote. So most of the times we know that we are going to human beings, we are getting uh, attacked with uh, bacteria, fungi and we have got uh, these uh, infections we have got in addition to our virus. We have got. Similarly, the bacteria will also be getting uh, getting a diseases by getting attacked with a primitive uh, pathogens than them. That is actually uh, a virus. So the virus attack the bacteria, make them dysfunctioning and make them diseased. So in this particular journey, it is uh, this uh, bacterial uh, bacterial phase because the bacteria has got a capacity to engulf, and uh, it is a, that is called as a, it is a bacterial phase because. The function of that uh, which has been made uh, to entry into the, um, the virus into the bacteria. So the sequences are de it is derived from the bacteriophages that are previously infected with the another prokaryote. They are used to detect and destroy the DNA from the similar bacteriophages and during the subsequent infections. It means this type of immune, what we have got, uh, we are taking now um, a Covaxin or Covishield. After a particular period of two weeks, if we take it, we are getting plenty of antibodies. That the antibodies have got enough capability to attack it. In the similar manner, what has happened, it was found, it is a starting point to determine the CRISPR technology. The scientists have found out that in the bacteriophages, they have got some, uh, if it is one bacteria got infected with uh, any virus. So they are, ha they are having, uh, which are having this uh, palindromic sequences, this DNA fragments which are present already in their uh, 
bacteriophages that is used to attack the new entrant of any virus that onwards it means it is actually the bacteria is making ready a immune system to attack and keep the particular bacteria offspring ready with this particular uh, segment of the dna these these fragments are already available in the bacteriophages it means it has got a specificity to attack the virus now the question comes why can't we use the same the bacteriophages which have got this uh, dean segments the bacteria has kept ready to kill the virus so the same dna segment which has got a capacity to kill the virus so if they are able to kill the virus they are entering into the bacteria why can't we use the same segments this palind uh, palindromic fragments to use in our human body to attack the virus this is actually the first starting point to use them so the primitive organism is virus is making that particular uh, dna fragmentations and making it ready to attack a future viruses so the similar one concept we will be using in our body to attack a future virus which is going to come so that the specific that repeated palindromic repeats how it is being made it has got a specificity to particular virus so this is actually hence these uh, sequences a uh, play a key role in the antiviral that is uh, defensive system of the prokaryote and provide a form of acquired immunity to the primitive organisms which has already been present even though it is primitive it is present so now it when it is been made this crispr fragments are Uh, appearing in the bacteriophages when they have synthesis when they have separated it what is the specific function of this particular uh, you know, fragments dna fragments which are present so like uh, these uh, clustered regularly interspaced short palindromic repeats the fragments are appearing in the bacteriophages so what is their function then the function is now it is clear they have got attacked for the future virus which is going to come it means this is actually what that crispr is a defensive mechanism to the bacteria to prevent the growth of the viral agent this is what it is been found out now what is crispr and cas system it is a bacterial adaptive immune system has provided a potent gene editing capability why this is having a gene editing capability we will see now the crispr cas systems are broadly divided into the two classes on the basis of the cas is nothing but an enzyme a crispr is nothing but a, a dna fragment so which you have seen which is containing a repeat palindromic uh, repeats which have got a clusters so this is having a, these fragments which are present so these um, crispr and cas be, these two have got a specificity that the enzyme cas system has a specific city with the sub, uh, some crispr and the cas system has got a specificity to synthesize and get attacked with some rna so that rna specificity to the particular virus and both together it is having a playing a role so the crispr cas systems are broadly divided into the two classes on the basis of construction of interferences interference module and further they are divided into the six types so these enzymes so this crispr is a fragment and an cas is the enzyme so they are divided into the total two classes and three six types in the class 1 crispr this is a, this one is very very critical now because you do remember that in near by future we are going to have so many treatment based on this and it will be having a buzzword repeatedly we are going to use and in our pharmacists we are going to have a making a delivery systems or attacking it in the products or anything and a highly advanced stage and uh, now we have got a nano sized particles everything has gone beyond now we are going to enter into the molecular level and that is having a specificity having a targeting and making gene therapy very much easy so if you use only the thing is what type we need to select depending upon our requirement so first we will see there are two classes one is the class 1 crispr and the one is uh, class 2 crispr cas system so in the class 1 crispr class systems type 1 3 4 they really on the multi cas protein complexes that uh, these cas proteins are present they are 
more than two required for the interference. So this is divided the class one. It means more than one NGM is required for the function. That is divided into three types. One is the type one, three, and four. The class two systems in that the type two and five and six are present. They use the single effector proteins. So the class two system it is a single effector. It means we have got only uh, class two system with crossbar and a CAS which is not having a multiple engines, but we are going to use only single engine for the specific purpose we, we are going to use it. Here we have got a difference in uh, CAS 9 and CAS 13. Like that, we have got a different engine which is getting tagged to a particular RNA to get killed because we know that the virus is containing RNA that is the genetic material that is getting inserted into the genome of a host and making the host to uh, uh, replicate the virus and uh, there is keep on replicating and the virus is getting coming out of again a host cell and entering into the bread and transferring and entering into the new thing so this virus is present containing some genetic material that is having a specific rna that rna has got a specificity with a cas protein so if a particular RNA has got a specific fixity with a particular CAS protein, if that only CAS protein if you are taking it, the class of system CRISPR CAS, either it is a 9 or 13, or such a specific city, we can use it for the specific virus. We have got so many viruses. So we have got Zika virus, we have got influenza virus, we have got uh, uh, this Foxco uh, disease having COVID-19. So, so many viruses are each, each uh, having a RNA. So, these RNA have got a specificity to particular CAS proteins. So, if you are making that uh, CRISPR and that particular CAS protein, the system, what is the advantage is that this enzyme has got a specificity to the RNA and that RNA will be taken by this enzyme and uh, which is uh, going to be getting mutilated and uh, killing that particular virus specifically when it is getting attacked. Because the reason is, how it is been uh, detecting is because of that particular specificity, it will take that particular RNA and before it is entering into the host genetic material to touch and uh, getting inserted, this crispr cas system, it will kill, it will uh, fragment that particular RNA and it will make it die. So the survival of the original bacteria will be present. In this particular journey, more than one cas protein is required this is actually a complex complex protein complex is required it is a little bit complicated procedure in the class one, <coughs> class one system but in the class two systems it is not complicated it is a simple uh, crispr cas9 one combination is present that will be used so the class two type of crispr it has got one type is called as a nine system uses the dna targeting mechanism programmed through the Watson Crick RNA DNA firing. So Watson and Crick, you, they, the two are the scientists, they have invented the DNA and genetic material, first chromosomes and uh, the heredity, every the concept has come. So this is actually a DNA RNA pairing, what it has been made, it is a complementary. So that uses this particular uh, similar mechanism by taking the advantage of the specific genome modification by the endogenous DNA repair machinery and high targeting efficiency, the CRISPR Cas9 system has rapidly become a mainstream tool used for the gene editing in the large body of the research, including the preclinical studies and uh, in the animals also. And we are going to have uh, the same thing which is implemented in the human beings also, most of the times. What is this uh, Cas9 engine specificity which we are going to have in the class two system? We are entering dip, uh, uh, we are pinpointingly in the molecular dynamics and molecular level. So we have seen the CRISPR and Cas system. In the CRISPR Cas system, two category classes. In the uh, second class, we have got specificity. In the specificity, we are talking about the Cas9 engine. So what is its utility? If you are going to see it, this Cas9 or CRISPR associated protein nine is an enzyme that uses the CRISPR sequences. Whatever we have got in this clustered polyndromic repeats, which fragments are present, the sequence has a guide. It will guide, it will show the way to recognize the and clear the specific strands of the DNA 
that are complement to the crispr uh, sequence so the crispr sequence has got some specificity to complement the dna um, dna and which is having a particularly take that one so the cas enzyme together with the crispr sequences form a basis for the technology is called as the crispr cas9 that can be used to edit the gene within the organisms so what is uh, making and how it is been made that um, uh, that system and uh, which is uh, used for the defensive mechanism and uh, which is resulting in the treatment of the diseases so this is the editing process has widely uh, wide variety of the applications including the basic biological research that is actually what we are doing in the fundamental level development of the biotechnological products like uh, your sera and vaccines what we are going to have and uh, your uh, insulin such thing and the treatment of the diseases like uh, your now we are going to have the different uh, treatments which we have seen previously we have so many enzymes and terminologies different approaches we have seen now entire thing can be made now with the same uh, back like class 2 crispr cas9 uh, enzyme so this is, this can be used with a single platform we can we can have a cut paste like thing it means we we are going to take a, a small piece of a newspaper we are going to take a particular photo in the particular one and we are taking that to attach to a some other place in our book and to fill the original gap we are filling with the new news or anything another one so this is actually taking using a scissors and cutting it and pasting somewhere else or taking removing out the pasting a new thing in the particular place so this is actually in the macro project we are able to do it how to make this precisely cutting in that particular photo only in that particular genome only the specificity is missing till now so how it is being made so in the 2012 it has been journey has been started and this uh, development of the crispr cas9 genome editing that uh, what is this editing means it will specifically cut the genome fragment in the defective and it will join it or it will be replacing with a new one corrected one so because of the efforts now if you see they recognized by the nobel prize in the chemistry in 2020 <clears throat> it is awarded to the emmanuel charpentier and jennifer downa so this uh, two ladies they have made this uh, they have found out they ca- they have made that what is this particular function of uh, this uh, crispr which is present in the bacteria phages first they have, they have taken into that so the crispr gene what is its function why it is present in the fragments in the bacteria phage so what is doing there that uh, they are they are uh, seen that they have gone further and such it for it and they found that it is having a palindromic sequence as a common repeat which are present inserted with so many oh, thing which is present then they thought that what is their use why it is present so later on they found that they are used in the um, treatment of the uh, diseases caused to the bacteria by attacked by the anti uh, that is virus so what else it is being used they have found out the specific protein like cas proteins so that cas proteins and these two combinations have got a, a specificity to attack a particular virus now they come out to the why the specificity has come why the specificity has come what is made it why these fragments have already appeared it and make uh, made it uh, to have so then what will happen this uh, particular palindromic sequences which have got a specificity to uh, attach it to the particular dna fragment and what will happen this uh, crasper uh, genetic material which is present there so if any virus is present say for example if bacteria is having a attacked with virus virus is changing the bacterial dna so the bacterial dna is altered because of the viral attack so now this uh, crispr what will do this crispr and cas9 system it will go to the uh, defected or infected dna so that is going to synthesize the next viral uh, uh, duplicates to for progress of the virus this crasper and cas9 system it will go to the dna <coughs> which got already interrupted or it got entered with <coughs> virus so virus has already inserted it so now it has got a palindrome repeats it know it has already synthesized before uh, the attack was there so this identify where the defect gene is where the virus has entered introduced its uh, genetic material and what it does these two together which have got a specificity to attack that particular dna 
and cut that particular de defective portion and again join it the regular bacteria then what will happen the virus which has uh, inserted uh, the virus genome that is uh, genetic material in inserted to multiplication in the bacteria now it got disrupted because of this caspar and cas9 it has gone there to the original dna the thing is the dna which is coming this crispr and the enzymes that is derived from the bacteria only they kept it ready and they were ready when they started attacked it when the virus is entered after the similar what they have been made and when the virus has entered and made the modification in the dna this two will go there and take the cut and replace it with the, they will come back to original bacterial dna so the original bacterial dna is in there, intact this mechanism we have got in our own body because of we have got uh, so much of uh, defense systems and the entire body has got a plenty of cells and even one cell got died the remaining will be present so that uh, one will be replenished without any much problem our human genome will not be getting attacked in the multicellular organisms but the question is that uh, jennifer madonna and carpenter emmanuel carpenter how this uh, one it is protecting its a single bacteria is protecting its uh, dna re uh, how the dna alterations how it is getting protected because only one is present when one is present means it is taking care it is taking uh, overrided by the virus so how it is getting corrected by its own these questions have started uh, actually when it is been seeing the journey has started from the 2012 and repeatedly they have concentrated in the similar systems and they made a coming out of a particular uh, technology called this one and what they proved is these two combinations they are going to the dna portion and finding the defective portions and cutting that and again joining it by these two combinations and they found there are plenty are available uh, in the combination uh, cas systems and crispr cas systems are present in the different uh, bacterial phases and they have inserted in intentionally and they did the experiment and they found that this uh, uh, palindromic sequences fragments are coming out like a regular immunity and they found that the sct is working and now they have done a specific changes like i have told uh, when the uh, white mice which is present in the laboratory they specifically used this crispr and cas protein system to change a particular nucleic acid and uh, they made that particular nucleic acid which is responsible for the white colored hair of that particular rat they replaced it by using the crispr cas9 and inserted the the nucleic acid which is uh, required for the black hair so they got the offsprings of the black so this is actually uh, they they have got in the zygote of this particular rat they inserted this particular one and the white color rat previously it has got the zygote it is got converted into the black haired uh, rat they found that as it is very good use for the gene treatment now it means it has got the, nothing uh, left everything got gates are got open now because in the genome we are seeing a particular defect we know that in the zygote itself if we are able to correct the problem is how to select a particular zygote portion which is having a defect and how to reach there and how to that particularly cut the particular segment of a nucleic acid sequence and how to replace it or join again back these are all the questions which left untouched but with this cas9 crispr technology this cut paste system of the genetic material simple like a paper we are using a scissors and gum so these two together it is having a cutting and pasting and making everything not only that it can edit it it can replace it it can take a new one it can remove delete some portion and again it join so depending upon what we are making a crispr uh, uh, genome uh, crispr fragment uh, structure the cluster pattern and the cas it will do it so this is a entire thing will be present and if you are doing the same thing and providing with uh, precursors in the microbiological reactor biotechnological reactor it will produce a lot of serum for us that is antibodies which are required to be done so because the same thing which is uh, being uh, given and we are going to have that particular dna which is responsible for this crispr fragment and the cas protein so which is used for the protection 
So we will be using the same technology to alter the gene portion to synthesize particular anti uh, bodies sequences. How it is required to be present by the uh, bacterial DNA. So the bacterial DNA now it is synthesizing the antibodies which is similar to that are human being, and we can collect that particular antibody to give as a vaccine to the human being. So this is actually what the journey has opened up. So that is the reason they got uh, a Nobel Prize got selected there. This is. Uh, made opening of a very simple city and preciseness and uh, and less cost because these two combination and precisely they are attacking uh, any particular fragment and a particular system of the gna the second one the enzyme which is being uh, used is the cas13a enzyme <clears throat> so several novel cas in uh, cas enzymes uh, such as the class 2 type uh, you know four effector proteins so we have got uh, 13 a previously it is referred as a c2c2 now it is actually they are, uh, they are redoing the research and uh, there is a cas 13 d so they are having a different uh, have been found to be in the crispr rna that is uh, it is a uh, abbreviated as the cr rna guided RNA targeting the CRISPR effectors. So there are, uh, we have got a sequence of one which we can uh, have this uh, uh, that is uh, present. So there are so many number of present. Each one particular one has got a particular function. This 13A is having a specificity to the RNA. Previously what we have seen, Cas9, which has got a specificity towards the DNA, Cas9 enzyme. So, if DNA, DNA related modifications and everything which is uh, having. So this is actually a good thing which is having uh, to have a virus which is having a DNA virus or DNA mutilations. So similarly, which you have got cap 13A, cas protein 13 previously, it is having a found in the CRISPR RNA, um, guided RNA targeting the CRISPR effectors. So cas 13A represents a class of enzymes with two separate RNAs, that is activities, that is um, uh, one is RNA recognition and RNA cleavage. So this uh, cas 13 a has got. It has got further two distinct catalytic sites responsible for these uh, activities. One is REC lobe within a helical one domain and uh, nucleic acid lobe and uh, that is uh, uh, with the to HEP, HEP and domains. So upon formation of the guide target RNA duplexes, 13 system is activated by triggering the HEP and domain to move towards the HEP and 2 domain and subsequently bind and cleave the target RNA bearing a complementary sequence. So this is actually a specificity of a particular RNA which you are going to have it. Now, this compared with uh, another RNA editing method, that is, uh, we have got already, uh, we have got uh, uh, interfering RNA. We have got previously, which has got a editing method that is not having a, any specificity. This CRISPR RNA 13 a system has a higher knockdown efficiency of the bacteria, plant, and mammalian cells. So this interfering RNA is a small segment that will have a uh, shutting down or uh, again triggering the augmentation previously we used to have it. But uh, when compared to that, this recent technique which is having a better specificity. CRISPR CRAS 13 a system can achieve a greater than 90% of the knockdown efficiency and the targeting. So KRAS G12 D mRNA while having no detectable effects on the wild type of KRAS mRNA. So they are having and can load the uh, can lead to apoptosis and the treatment, tumor treatment. So this uh, KRAS G12 D mRNA is more prevalent in the case of uh, tumor. And uh, uh, this particular system of the CRISPR 13A is not having anything which is linked to your normal wild type uh, KRAS mRNA. So you can have uh, the specificity to use the kill the cancerous cells, especially it has been treated in the inhibition of the pancreatic cancer. So now this uh, one has opened new gates to treat the diseases and alter these three uh, green sequences by using this uh, CRISPR-Cas systems. Now there are so many wide varieties are present. 
we will see in the next class what are these uh, uh, present further to help us to find out but 